Hey guys, Tyler here. A new game just came out called Hyperbolica. I've been waiting on the release of this because this is a game set entirely in a non-Euclidean world. So what this means is that a square does not have four right angles, parallel lines do not stay the same distance apart, and a circle's circumference is not equal to pi times the circle's diameter. It's a very weird world and I'm excited to check it out. Let's get into it. And into the trippy world we go. Yeah, I'm ready for this to melt my brain. I can't wait. Oh, I'm awake. Welcome to Hyperbolica. It's a hyperbolic world hidden in the brain link system. Well, it might look like you're on a little planet, but that's just an illusion. Reality is is that it's the opposite and i guess lines always diverge here because of like geometry or something hmm maybe i'm not so good at explaining this you should just see for yourself but it's really easy to get lost here so you'll definitely need a map so here's the map watch what happens as i walk forward just holding down w look at this map disappear <laughs> oh good god and rotating is kind of weird too, although it kind of looks normal. Look at these buildings though. Look at the buildings. The, see how their tops are curved? It's technically a straight line in this world. It just appears that way because of the projection. Let's talk to some people, see what they know. It's a common misconception that being high up lets you see farther away. But that's just not true in Hyperbolica. In fact, it's often the opposite. I don't think I've talked to you yet either. I'm an expert in cartography. Would you like me to explain how your map works? Sure. You can cycle through three different projections of Hyperbolica using the map mode button. Just like a globe, it's impossible to map hyperbolic space onto flat paper, so each projection has a unique special property. First one is called the stereographic projection. Any angle on the map is exactly the same angle as in the real world. The next one is the orthographic projection. All lines in the real world show up as straight lines on your map, too. The last one is the gnomonic projection. Everything on your map moves in the same direction as you do when you walk around. You should know that all the same special properties work in spherical geometry as well. Have fun, fun with your map. Apparently I can change the projection. Okay, so this is, I think, the same angles. And this makes other people move accurate to me. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I like this one the most, actually. This, this is where it's gonna get legit. This lets me see a little bit more of a bird's eye view. So let's get high. Already the world is warping pretty strangely. But funny enough, I can't see farther at all. The dude was right. Like, look at the planes. Oh my god. Yep, not even further in the slightest. It's cool, if I look down, I can see the entire curvature of my view. I don't know if that's the right terminology. I am merely guessing, but this looks sick. And let me just whoop, fly through the air at great speeds. Here, I'm at the beach treasure chest here. I feel like I have to check this out. Pardon me, but can you help? A spirit has been haunting me ever since I dug up this stupid treasure chest. It's some kind of curse that gives me terrible luck and existential dread. So please, can you break the curse and return the chest? The problem is it's too heavy to rotate. I can't get it to fit in the hole. Which is weird, because I don't remember turning it. All I did was push it around a bit. Please save me from this nightmare. Every time I touch the chest, things only get worse. Okay, so I gotta rotate the chest. This is just a straight up puzzle. So first off, how could I rotate it? Because there's no like button to actually pick it up. All I can really do is slide it across the sand. So what I imagine needs to happen is that I need to push it so far in one direction and then another direction and then another direction and then back towards the hole. And now you can see it's kind of changed this orientation relative to the hole a little bit. I feel like I need to do that, but just more extreme. 
man. Oh, it's, it's getting closer now. It's getting really close. What if I push this way? Oh, wait. This looks perfect, actually. Oh, this is lined up really nicely. It's lined up super nicely. That has to get in the hole. Get in the hole! What? What? Are you serious? Bro. Oh my god. Okay, it's like just the touch off. Ooh, it's looking really good right now. Really good. Is that gonna let me... Oh my god, what am I stuck on? I think I ran into something. It looks so good, but is it forgiving? If I mess it up just a little bit. Let's see. Okay, it is forgiving. I did it, the curse is lifted, I feel so free. And my existential dread has subsided, now I'm only suffering from a midlife crisis. I'm thinking of buying a boat. Maybe that'll repress those feelings. Thanks for helping me, I want you to have this sand down, it's the least I can do. Well, they say the best days in a boat owner's life are the first day and last day, so a trick for happiness is to just rapidly buy and sell boats. You'll never be upset. Let's check out the snow area. Oh, finally a portal. Maybe I can do something in here. Are you gonna tell me about the portal? Looks like there's a ceasefire at Frosted Fields, so we're letting in tourists now. Okay, at Frosted Fields. I'm gonna just go looking for things. I don't know what I'm looking for though. This is a war between two different sides of people that put the cereal first or the milk first. Milk first, milk, you, you're drinking the propaganda milk, buddy. The milk first side requires dedication. We won't be swayed by the other side's arguments. Even if they make sense and are really good. Exactly, that's dedication to the cause. You know, as crazy as you are, I might be a milk first person myself. Step one, pour the milk. Step two, never pour the cereal because I don't eat cereal and only drink milk. I'm gonna be honest, cereal is just one of those foods that it's probably gonna improve your life if you stop eating it. Yeah, I see this guy, I prefer eggs for breakfast. A real homie has just showed up. What the hell is this thing that's not really straight ahead? It's, oh, a catapult. Launch me. I'm ready. Send me over the fence. I actually, there's gotta be some way, right? Maybe I can do this. How do I get someone to pull this lever? They made a lever, it probably works. So go to the captain and say the secret password, milk. You have the password, the super secret password, only a few know. The super secret password handed down from generation to generation of captains. Well then you are free to use the catapult as you wish. Perhaps you're on a spy mission? Well don't worry, I'll keep your secret safe. How what fun, a spy for the milk first army, hop on. Yes, I do get to use the catapult. Praise be. This is gonna be weird. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! And there's another catapult over here. Oh, and they have a trebuchet on this side. So I get right here. Whoop! Right, this felt way faster. Very fun. Let's go check out the woods over here. Uh, it's got a nice branching path, so time to go through a maze. Let's hop in the portal. Maybe you can tell me more. I see you got a map. Perfect. You may go into the maze of a perio gun. Truthfully, I'm not the best at my job, but if you got a map, then I'm off the hook. Don't want the boss coming for me. Okay, time to navigate to non-Euclidean maze, it would appear. This ancient labyrinth has been theorized to be many things. I believe that some of sort of torture device. Criminals and thieves were sent here to be punished, forced to walk in this twisted maze for days until they gave up or found the exit. Well, I'm already lost. This maze is extra confusing because if you make four right turns, you don't end up back where you started. You'd need to make five rights to make a left. Wait, this maze is huge! What the hell? Gigantic maze. Oh, this is weird. So you go forward then right, and that leads to a different area than if you go right then forward. Oh, good God. 
Well, just keep pushing forward. Eventually, I'll find something. There can only be so many dead ends, right? It's not like it's going to loop on itself without me realizing. Just kidding. It looped on itself without me realizing. Let's try the other branching path that I haven't really done much with. Now, maps in Hyperbolica are not as helpful as you might expect. Sure, you can project it all on paper, but then the path becomes too small to see near the edges. Oh, yeah, what if I'm supposed to use a different projection, huh? Kind of like this. Yeah, here I can tell what is a dead end and what isn't. That's handy. Oh, it's a book I haven't read yet. I'm making progress. Nil is delighted with our progress. Soon we'll know the great truth just as prophesized. Uncovered from a Paragonian scroll found in pottery. Hey, you're really lost, aren't you? No. I like to wonder. But if you change your mind, I might have something that can help you. I feel like a, um, another difficulty about this maze is that I don't really know where the end goal is. It's just that there is an end goal, apparently. Oh, is, is that an exit? Well, there's, there's another scroll. Wait a second. The kingdom of Perion honors Nil with this garden made it flourish eternally. Reconstructed from broken Perigonian statues. What? I'm here? Son of a... I did go in a circle. <laughs> oh, incredible. Is this an exit? I'll be walking into or a dead end? Oh, it's an exit. Let's go. Yeah, that was very tricky. Um, <laughs> that was that was pretty cool. I like the maze. I didn't really use the follow the wall technique, but I didn't really use any technique. Probably would have been. Oh, I got to escape. Wait, is there not a fast travel? There is a fast travel. Praise be. Okay, I think I'm gonna end it there. I gave it a fair shake and thought it was very intriguing, but ultimately it was an adventure game and adventure games disgust me. Still a really cool technical showcase and very impressively built, but I hope one day this technology can be used to make a game that's more up my alley. Something a bit more like Super Liminal, for example. At least I'll have Patrick's Parabox for good puzzle games coming out this month. Stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.